Hello everybody. Today we are going to make a double sided PCB using a photosensitive film and for that uh, these are the certain chemicals we are required and uh, uh, we have purchased a uh, photosensitive film from an online store for uh, $10 and uh, we have also got printed our PCB design from a transparency sheet on a transparency sheet and uh, uh, we'll cut these pieces and uh, make them double to reduce the opacity of this uh, transparency sheet uh, to develop in uh, UV light and uh, for the UV light source we'll use sunlight and other things we require are these three chemicals one is sodium carbonate and uh, this is used to develop the photo resist on the PCB. Next one is ferric chloride uh, for leaching purpose, uh, and the third one is sodium hydroxide to remove the photo resist after leaching process. And for that, we have got these pieces of copper clad, uh, and we have cleaned it properly. And uh, now we'll apply the photo resist on these two PCB uh, we'll put the photo resist over there and uh, we'll iron and then we'll develop let's see how it works these all three chemicals are very corrosive so uh, we have to take care of it and uh, we have to keep them away from the children's and uh, now first of all we'll uh, cut all these prints actually uh, these prints are of PCB uh, we have taken uh, in negative form means wherever there is uh, the transparent space uh, the copper uh, will be there while etching and wherever there is dark space the copper will be removed in the etching process so we have taken this print in the negative form and also you may see that uh, we have uh, made uh, three small vias <coughs> in extra. Uh, these are been made for make uh, these plates align with each other. So it will be on one another in very accurate form. So first of all we will cut these uh, pieces and we'll make them double so it will uh, reduce the opacity and uh, let's see how it works now we have cut these two pieces of the same type of the same side and we have placed these on one another and uh, we are going to fix it with this uh, adhesive so it will not move further and keep as it is on the place and uh, similarly similarly we will do with this other piece also here it is the photosensitive film and uh, the photosensitive material is in between the two transparent layers on the both sides so we will remove one transparent layer from this uh, photosensitive film and then we will fix it on this uh, PCB will iron uh, at low temperature and uh, will place will fix this first photosensitive film on this PCB let's see how it works uh, we'll take the cello tape uh, transparent cello tape and uh, we'll put it on a corner one corner and one other one another on another corner and when we will remove these two it will remove one film from this photosensitive material here you can see it is removed from one side now we will place our PCB on this surface we, we have to keep in mind that there must be no air bubble 
in between otherwise it will affect the quality of PCB so carefully we will place our photosensitive film on the PCB and uh, gently we will fix we have to take care that there must be no air bubble and similarly since we are making a double sided PCB so the same thing we have to do with the other side of the board so we put the sensitive film on this other side also the same way very carefully and uh, there must be no air bubble in between Here it is the PCB after fixing the photosensitive film over here over there and uh, now we will iron it on a low temperature so we have to do this now we are going to place our PCB in between these two transparent fins what we have prepared and uh, we will place these two in between two glass plates this is a glass plate and we have put this uh, transparent film on the glass plate now uh, we will put the PCB and then over there we will put another face of the PCB and then we will fix it with a between the glasses and uh, we'll put another glass over there and then we'll fix and we'll expose in the sunlight now we have put over this all stuff in the sunlight since we require the UV lights to expose the photosensitive film and it requires about 10 to 15 minutes to expose and uh, the photosensitive film become dark in color so we will be able to identify that this all is done let's see how it works in sunlight uh, this uh, UV film is look like exposed because its color become darker so now we will change the face and uh, we will expose in UV other face of this PCB So we'll change the face and uh, now we'll put another surface. Now we have put another surface of this PCB in UV light and let it expose for next 10 to 15 minutes. Now this uh, PCB is developed under UV exposure of sunlight. We have taken out uh, our PCB from the glass frame and uh, we can see the dark blue surface which is developed due to the sunlight UV and uh, you can see both the sides are there and now we will develop it with the sodium carbonate and in the sodium carbonate uh, this light surface will dissolve and uh, this dark surface will remain there and uh, uh, it is the complete wiring, uh, complete connections of the PCB components in between. First of all, we will remove this uh, transparent film, transparent film from the PCB, and then we'll put in the uh, sodium carbonate solution that is the photo developer. 
now we are uh, taking one gram of this photo developer about one gram and we are putting it in 100 gram of the water and uh, you can see now now we'll remove this film from our PCB and we put this PCB in the solution so here it is the removing this transparent film will remove from this PCB and uh, We'll put this PCB in this solution. In the few minutes, wherever there is a light surface, will be dissolved in this solution. Here it is the PCB after developing the photoresist and uh, now we will eat this PCB using ferric chloride solution. Now we have put our PCB in this ferric chloride solution for the etching process and uh, within 20 minutes the etching process will complete then we will take this PCB out from this ferric chloride solution. Now the etching process is complete and uh, after etching this plate looks like this one and before etching it was like that. The copper is removed and uh, now we will remove this photoresist and uh, to remove this photoresist we will use the sodium hydroxide and uh, for that we will take uh, 1 gram of sodium hydroxide and we will mix it in uh, 100 ml of 100 uh, ml of water and uh, then we'll put this PCB in this solution and we'll get it removed. Here it is we are mixing. Now after making the solution, we will put our PCB to remove the water resist from it. Here it is, you can see the photo resist is coming out. Automatically itself. Here it is, you can see the photo resist is coming out itself. Here the photo resist is removed and uh, you can take the PCB out from the solution. We have done our PCB and now we will uh, drill the holes of the PCB. Since it is a double sided PCB, for through hole we will pass thin wire from these holes and uh, solder both the side will work as a through hole and now we will drill our PCB 